dread going through your bills and monthly statements. Your best defense? Get organized. Here to help you with your paper trail is professional organizer Ivanka Sielkowski. Yeah. Ivanka, so good to have you back. Thank you for having me again. Now, if people want to see the magic that is Ivanka, all they need to see is these before and afters. And these are clients you've worked with in different spaces yep. in their homes. That's a bedroom before. Take a look at the after. I don't even know, like, are you magical? Yes. That's, that's, that's a before and that's a closet. Yes. The after, everything put away. And one more, so we can all be inspired. That's actually, I have a room in my house that looks like that. And not like that. Incredible. It takes some time though, right? It does, and it's not me doing it. I'm training the client to do it so they can maintain it, which is huge, because otherwise you'd be calling me in every week. And I, I'd, I'd gladly come back because it makes money, but I mean, I'm trying to help people here, so that's the right. main focus. So. so one thing that really trips up a lot of us, I think, is the amount of uh, paper coming into our homes. Like, it's just there are bills. I don't want to open it because I owe you money. But So some people are not, you know, we don't know where to put them. Sometimes you don't have the money, so you don't want to open them right away, and they, they're stacked up. And so what I do, I've got all these piles in my house of paper. Some of them are school assignments for the kids, some of them are bills. What do we do uh, right from the get-go to handle that? So start with a nice home for those papers. Yes. And let that be the same home, not, you know, on the stairs, on the couch, on the here. Because the, yeah. that's what ends up happening. It's everywhere. And so if you create a home for it, right when you walk in the door, mm -hmm. then you'll know it's always there. And so we've got some options here. There are different ways depending on the space you have. You can get one of those hanging wall ones as well Ooh, yeah. if you don't have a table. Um, a little life hack here is if you go to the kids section yes. of stores, you can get the same kind of tray for half the price because it says something silly like I'm a mermaid on it. And, oh, it, you know, oh, and it costs half of what it would if you yes. got the same thing in the adult section. So Smart. Mm -hmm. Who cares what it says? Right. Your bills are going to be on yeah. it. Exactly. Right? It's going to be covered up. And then at the end of every week, you're going to want to go through those papers, uh, whatever is there, and empty it out. So mm -hmm. you can do that Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but then by Sunday night, you know, when the new mail comes in on Monday, you've got it empty and it's ready to go. Because once you let it start piling, it's, it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. So okay. those are some options for you. These are great homes to have uh, near the front door where all the paper comes in. And the big part of it is making sure you sort through it at the end of the week. You also have some other options here for us uh, to think about when it comes to your organization. Yes, because, I mean, tax season is among us. Yeah. None of us like it. But, right. Um, don't, don't be that person who shows up to the accountant like this. Please. Don't they love it when you do that? They don't. The answer is they don't. <laughs> they really don't like it. I can tell you. So, and part of it too is if you need to find a paper, if I said, hey, can you find me that receipt? For, are you? No. no. It's impossible. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everything into a binder. Look at the binder. We've talked about binders before on the show and, and people never get sick of them because I, oh my gosh, make sure it has cartoons in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the best. This binder is very organized. You've got tabs for everything I've got here. Tabs What's for happening everything. in here? This is, this is my business one. I have one for personal okay. and business. All right. And you keep everything in. Uh, maybe I shouldn't know, be yeah, seeing this. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever, we can, well, whatever. We can just like flip through, you know? Like, okay. So, you know, here's my receipts. I go to yeah. Dollarama a lot, you know, or yeah. wherever. And so you have, so you can see it. Yeah. Because if you put it in a filing cabinet, then it's gone forever. And if you have to find it, let's say, heaven forbid, there was an emergency and someone needed medical papers of yours. Yes. How are they going to find them? They're completely well, buried. in my home, you walk into my front door and you'll see Ivanka's folder. Yes. And then you'll see the tab that says medical papers and it's right there. Or for myself, if I need to find them, it makes it a lot easier. You're the daughter my dad never had. <laughs> I mean, my dad is one of those guys, like, it's beautiful. He's one of those guys, he actually takes a picture of every room in the house for insurance purposes and puts them in a, in a safe that will never be burnt by fire. Yeah. Like that's like, he would love you, like he really would. Okay, let's talk a little bit about books. I got way too many of them in my house, um, which is a good thing, but then it's also a clutter thing. So what do you do about books if you're trying to organize? So the number one thing is if you've read a book, don't keep it. <laughs> All right. The purpose of a book is to convey information to the reader. Yes. Once that information has been received, you either got it or you didn't. Yeah. You need to read it again. You usually read it right away. You know, if there's a chapter or a paragraph, you're like, ah, I don't know what that meant. You know, read it again. If not, 
it's time to say goodbye and bring that joy to someone else. Right. Because there are so many books out there. If you keep collecting them, you'll be buried. And I've seen it. I've seen houses that are buried. Yeah, it's too much. So but enjoy it and move on. Yeah. Um, you can send it to a public library. You can donate. You can keep the ones you want to keep and do it like this. Like, that is so neat and tidy. These are just the ones that you really, really, really want to keep. Yeah, these are like the, the go-tos. These are the ones we want. We have, yeah. like, you can... Um, organize it by color. I love the rainbow look. Me too. There's a very controversial system right now called the backwards library. <gasps> yeah, this has caused a lot of like, they're getting death threats for the woman who posted this. They're it was so awful. awful. But it's just, if you don't want it to be visible, you know, these yeah. are the books you want to keep, but you don't necessarily need to know what they are. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> Calm down, everybody. It's okay. Right. It's a book. <laughs> it's a book. Now, you actually made your own little library. Little libraries are happening all over the place across the continent, and I think they're amazing because you can drop a book off, you can collect a book. You made one with your daddy. I did. We've got some beautiful pics of that. Um, and so all it was was getting a piece of furniture, like you're seeing yeah, right now. Yeah, we thought we'd repurpose because we don't like add into landfills and yeah. using things that we don't need to. So we went and got a dresser. Yes. And we repurposed it, as you can see there. Yep. <laughs> It's and adorable. then um, it was, Daddy and I didn't build it. Daddy built it, and then <laughs> I painted it. Right. Um, but then these these are all over the world. And yes. then if you register it, there's like the it'll have a registry number on it. Yes. So then you, if you are looking in your neighborhood, you can go online and see where in the world they have them closest to you. Oh, cool. So you can take one, leave one, and then everyone's happy. It's beautiful because everyone needs to be reading, right? Right. Now, if you need assistance with your home's clutter or organizing your space, you can enter now at cityline.tv. Ivanka could arrive on your doorstep very soon. Ding dong! I'm here to fix your life.